Welcome back, everybody. We are still at Hotel Bin, and as promised, we are going to teach you something. I'm ready to learn right along with you. We're in the Riedel Room along with Nicole, who is in charge of food and beverage around here. I am so excited about this class, Nicole. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I've known for a while that glasses make a difference when it comes to wine, but honestly, like I, I never knew which ones to use. I would just basically use whatever was clean. Exactly. And not broken, but I guess there's a rhythm to it. There's a true science to it. The message of the wine varies by the glass. And which wine are we experiencing today? So today we are having the Dow Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon, that's from Paso Robles. Um, beautiful Cabernet, a true expression. And we've actually started the glass tasting here with the wine in the proper glass. It's the Riedel Extreme Cabernet glass. And uh, it's my favorite because if you can only have one glass of wine a day, this is the one because it holds an entire bottle of wine in one Oh, glass. perfect. So you figured that out one. so well. <laughs> you are just keeping our health on track exactly. and also figuring out our wine. Okay, where do we start with this? What we'll do first is you can just look at the wine. Okay. You can kind of, uh, you know, always on a white background. Mm -hmm. You can see the age to it. And then you'll want to swirl and smell. And the reason that we swirl the wine, well, one, you look cool and educated. I but couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> but it creates a more well-balanced glass of wine because when it sits, the alcohol rises to the top and the sugar to the bottom. Mm, I want you guys to smell this. It really smells delicious. Do you smell any specific fruit? For some reason, it's blackberry. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly correct. It's oh, old black yes. fruit. So blackberries, yes. blueberries, you're going to get that dark cherry too. And then the best part, you get to taste. Okay. Okay, perfect. Mm. Yes. Does it match what you smell? I feel like it's, um, uh, what would be the right word? It's not thicker. It's um, full body. Like there's, yeah, more more full bodied. Would that be yeah, the right word? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Is that accurate? I mean, yeah. There's just more, there's more substance to it. So you now know how it's supposed to taste, and this is where the fun part comes in because okay. we have our Joker cup. I like to call it. Okay. Let's so try we'll it. pour the whole thing in here, and we'll just try the same exercise: swirl, smell, and see what we get. Like nothing. Yeah, it doesn't come up, does it? Yeah. That's weird. It's it gone. smells like red solo cup. That is what this <laughs> smells like. If you guys are looking for that varietal. It's just gone. Okay. And but, it got bubbly. But it's the same wine, so it should taste the same, right? Okay. So let's so, see. It tastes sweeter. Is that weird? It's sweeter, bitter. It's just not not what we want. Okay. Wow. You, you've you've got me. Okay, should we try and do we put it in the other glasses? Yeah, let's do this real quick. So let's see. We'll pour just half into here, and then half where it should be. And this is a Sauvignon Blanc glass. Yeah, so this actually? is this okay. is designed for a high acid wine without any oak aging. So okay. typically we put our Sauvignon Blanc in there. Okay. Should so I let's swirl? see. Yeah, let's swirl and smell again. It didn't come up as much. Yeah, it's, it's like stuck in there because it's more <laughs> narrow on the exactly. side. Like come on. Everything scent. about the glass is designed for a reason. The base, the stem, the bowl, the diameter of the mouthpiece, it all plays a role. Now, I have to be honest. If you had given it to me in this or this, I would not be able to tell the difference. Um, but that is fascinating. Yeah. Okay, so when you go to a restaurant, if they serve you a red wine in the Sauvignon Blanc, uh, glass, do you say something? Do you say, or do you have a... Well, I usually look at the wine glasses before I even look at the wine list. Oh. <laughs> because oh. if they don't have great glasses, then drink vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Those are words to live by. If they don't have great glasses, drink vodka. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank I you. really learned a lot. This was a lot of fun. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to link up all the information for Hotel Ben at our website, cw33.com.